For your lateral lunge, you're gonna take a toes pointing forward stance. Your feet are gonna be significantly outside of your hips. How wide that is will just depend on whether you can get the middle of your body, so zipper, belly button, breastbone, nose, over one side completely. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like from the side as well. So from the side, your toes pointing forward stance. I suggest putting hands on the hips for the first time doing it. You're gonna make sure that you have length in your torso. That's gonna give you the best uh, ability to rotate into the hip you're going to. Length means from your sits bones, the very hardest bottom pelvic point that you feel when you're on a hard surface, all the way up through the torso, through the chest, through the top of your head, you're gonna make it the longest point possible. What is not long is this, and it's not this. It's straight up and down, a lot of length. Once you feel that, take a couple breaths, feel the rib cage go down a little bit without the breastbone coming down, breathe into that position, and now you have your length. So that's gonna make sure you move purely from the hip and the whole torso just follows that movement from the hip. So as you go into that lunge, you're gonna have your hand on your hip bone so you feel it rotate. Your knee goes forward as your hip goes back. So I like to think about it as your sits bones and your knees are moving in opposite directions of each other while you go into that lateral lunge. Once you're here, you should feel inside edge pressure on the foot. So you'll feel the inside heel of my left foot, a little bit more arch, a little bit of ball of the big toe, all that inside edge contact, and you're gonna feel a butt stretch on this side. And make sure you are not here and you have not found a different way to get into that position because you set up length number one. You can add an opposite arm reach down to the toe and you can hang out here for breaths. And this will be an isometric where you just breathe. As you get longer on the exhale, you might feel this opening up even more like a bigger butt stretch. Hold that length as you breathe in. And once the isometric feels good, you can do several breaths there, you can do repetitions. So when you come out of that lunge, you just push out from that foot arch pressure you had, you go back into the lunge, feel that same stretch, push out. So you can either do an isometric where you stay here and breathe, or you can do repetitions where you go into it, push out. What I mean by getting your midline over that foot, I have hands on hips. You're both moving to that side, but you're also letting your body slowly rotate to that side. I say letting, I'm not purposely trying to twist and then you see that I actually don't go in that direction. So my zipper, my breastbone, everything will naturally start to turn slightly into that leg as I go over to that side. And then at the end of that rep, no weight is on that foot. Everything is lined up over here. My hips are a little bit turned into that. That's why I have a little butt stretch. And then my ribs can also naturally turn a little bit more into that stance. So in the isometric, you're gonna feel that if you keep breathing, that exhale will open up the butt even more. The inhale will drive more length into the back of the hip. And then once the isometric feels easy, you're able to get into it, you can do a lateral lunge where you're doing repetitions. So you push out with that foot arch, you go into it and you keep going back and forth.